your boy Chef Jamal from Chef Jamal's Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a Tuscan chicken pasta. Okay, I'm going to see if we can do everything in one pot today because I see one pot meals are the most definitely top key. Okay, so I'm going to do a one pot meal of a Tuscan chicken salmon. Okay, we got the ingredients right here, so we're about to get started. Okay. How y'all doing? So we got our chicken cut up already. We got our Tuscan seasoning, our butter, our tomatoes cut up in half, some flour, butter, some garnish with some parsley and some basil, some cut up asparagus. We got this whole pan of uh, spinach. I love spinach. Like a lot of spinach, okay? So the way we start this recipe, right? We're gonna take some of this butter, okay? Take some of the butter, and then we're gonna put it in the pan, okay? We'll take some butter and put it in the pan. And then make sure we get the butter all nice and, you know, make sure it's all nice and melted in the pan, okay? Make sure it's nice and melted in the pan. You know what I'm saying? Nice and melted in the pan, guys, okay? Then, you know, Take our hands, okay? Take our hands, okay? Make sure it's nice and good in the pan, okay? Make sure it's nice and good. I'm gonna bring y'all closer so y'all can see a little bit better. Bring y'all a little closer so y'all can see a little bit better, okay? Can y'all see? All right. So. You know, see a little better. So we got the you know, in the pan, okay? You wanna know, take a little bit of this tuscan. Throw that in there. Okay? You wanna make sure the tuscan all nice and good. Make sure to cook in the pan, everything like that. Everybody here, make sure everybody know. Come here. Everybody still with me? Make sure everybody put come, let me know y'all still here with me. Okay? Check everybody here. So let me put something in the thing. Let me know y'all still here. Everybody still here? Okay. Okay, everybody still here? All right, guys. I'm sorry for that. So we're back at the doing the lot. Okay. So here we at. We got a little bit more butter. We got the tomatoes cooking good. You guys see that? The tomatoes cooking nice and good. Guys. Okay. Make sure you get everything nice and good. We're back with that. So we're gonna put, we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken in, okay? Go ahead and add the chicken in. So now we're adding chicken, then we're about to add some seasoning to the chicken. So chicken can get that nice Tuscan flavor while it's while it's cooking the sauteing and the pan with the, the peppers and the tomatoes that we pretty much cooked a few minutes ago. Okay? So get that nice and pan like that. Add a little more this little seasoning. Try to cover as much of the chicken as you can. We're going to have all of it towards, a little bit more towards the end after cooking, okay? And then add one more stick of butter, one more cube of butter, I'm sorry. Like one more cube in there. All right, so make sure the heat is a little bit high so the pan gonna cool down. So when the pan cools down, make sure it's all cooked right, okay? Okay, so make sure it's like that. All right, so what we gonna do now, Okay, we're gonna get everything to the front. Everything to the front. We got our spinach here. We got our asparagus still. Our garnish. We got the flour. So towards the middle, towards the end, we're gonna add a little bit more of the vegetables so they can saute in the pan and cook some more. Okay. So let's turn that up a little bit. Let's bring you closer. Let's bring you guys closer so y'all can see.
Okay. I'll bring y'all guys a little closer so y'all can see. Okay. Make sure y'all can see good. Okay. Can y'all see? Y'all see how the chicken is put a little nice in there? Can y'all see that? That's how we want it. We want to make sure it's cooked and real nice and good in the pan. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of this basil in here. Okay, a little bit of greenery, okay? Just gonna get that nice and sauteing in the pan. Alright. So now, once we got this nice and sauteing, right? Make sure the chicken is nice and brown. So when we add the spinach and, and everything else, it's gonna be ready. We're about to build the sauce in about two seconds, guys. Okay, in about two seconds, we're about to build the sauce. Okay? Can y'all see that? That, that good right there? Looking good? Can y'all see? Oh man, look at that. Can y'all see that? That looks good, right? That looks amazing, okay. All right, it's gonna cook good. Let me see if I can get y'all that, that good view so y'all can actually see, see. Let me see if I can get that, that good view for so y'all can actually see, okay. Y'all see that right there? Can y'all see that? Yeah, see that pan nice and good. All right. So what we're gonna do? Make sure the saute is nice and good. Okay. We're gonna add some more. We're gonna add the rest of the butter in here, guys. We'll add the rest of that butter in there. Okay. We're gonna melt that butter like that, like, like that in the middle. Melt that butter real nice and good. Make sure you get it nice and good. Add some of the flour. Mix that in. Now that put all the flour in. Okay. Put the rest of your seasoning in. Okay. That's your seasoning. Let that cook a little bit. Let the flour cook in. Okay. And the cooking just like that. We're gonna add a little bit of this water there, mix it in. We're gonna mix it in just like that. Mix that in. We're gonna mix in the milk. Okay. Mix in the milk. We wanna mix in the asparagus. Okay. Mix in the asparagus. Alright, we're gonna take a little bit of our paprika and dill. Throw a little bit of that in there, okay? Okay, mix it up. Good. Like that. Okay. See me, I like just a little bit of liquid, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk to it, okay? Add a little milk to it, a little more. Okay. And a little bit more milk to it because you want to make sure it's the right balance because you don't want it too thick but you don't want it not too thick okay guys you don't want it too thick and you don't want it not too thick okay you see that consistency like that that's a good color everything okay all right so now while well, it's like that let's add our, our spinach okay i like a lot of spinach so i like to add a lot of spinach all right, no spinach left behind, guys. No spinach left behind. Okay. Okay. Let's push that down in there. Let's push that down in there, guys. Okay. All right. Let's make sure we push it down there. And you want to fold this in. Take your spatula. You want to fold in. You want to fold it all into each other because you want it to cook down. So you want to fold it in. The spinach be jumping, okay guys? So don't be alarmed. The spinach do be jumping, okay? It does be jumping sometimes, it's okay. It's all right, don't be alarmed. You see how it's cooking down? You see how the spinach is cooking real nice and down, right? That's how you want it, okay? You see how I got it like that? Cooking nice and down, guys? You see how it's like that? That's how you want it. You want it to cook down, 
and you want to get into the sauce, okay? You're going to cook in it to the sauce. Y'all see that? Okay? Y'all see that? Now I'm going to take my, my tweezers and mix this in nice and good. If you want to, you just have like it's like that. I want to add just a little bit more liquid. So I'm going to add just a little bit more liquid to it. Okay. Y'all see that? When that's finished cooking down, that's going to be good, right? That's going to be amazing. So. All right, we're going to let that come to a boil. Okay. We're going to get our pasta. Okay. We're going to get our plate. We're going to take our pasta here. Okay. Take our pasta here. And then. We'll put some of the pasta in there. Okay. Put your pasta in. Okay. Put your pasta in. Go ahead and stir it in. Okay. I'm using linguine today for my pasta, for my Tuscan chicken pasta. Linguine. Okay. This is uh, this is what I'm using, guys. Let me show y'all. Okay. All right. Using linguine pasta. Sound looks good. So make sure you want to make sure it's all stirred in, okay? Make sure it's all stirred in when you when you almost done. Thank you, thank you. I'm making a Tuscan chicken pasta, okay? Was that G G Mad? Thank you, thank you. That looks good, guys. That looks good. That looks good. Great. Okay. And then now, okay, guys. Let's put the camera back up because we're about to plate it. Okay. Let's go ahead. This was served about, I say about four people tops, but it depends on how much you like to eat. So if you like to eat or enjoy food, of course, especially if you love to enjoy these type of meals, you would definitely probably need a little bit more, of course. But it serves about no, roughly about four people, four to five people, depending on the per people. If it's a child, Probably you get about like five out of it, probably, most likely. So we're gonna bring this back to a bowl so the sauce can start to thicken up around a little bit more around the sauce, around the noodles. Okay, and then we, we kind of like al dente our noodles, guys. We al dente, al dente our noodles. Um, we're, eat, we're making, like I said, we're making Tuscan chicken. Okay, all right. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. If you um come ask me in my in my DM, I have um I'll you, I'll see, be able to send you the the list of ingredients and instructions about how to make this good meal. Okay, guys, it's definitely a must. It's definitely a must make. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. All right, so we about to go ahead and plate it. All right, we about to go ahead and plate it. Okay. Set up. Okay. So let's go ahead and plate this one. Okay. Any questions anybody got? Any more questions? Any more questions? Anybody any more questions? Because I'm about to plate it. Okay. I see this she is right here. Plate it. Okay. I see this she is right here, guys. About to plate it. I'm about to plate this thing right here. That's what we're about to do. Okay. Any questions, guys? We're just waiting for the pasta to heat up so we can start to play. so we can start to play. Okay. Y'all hear that? Yes, most definitely. Anybody can ask me. Make sure you have any type of questions, anything you're asking. Make sure you go to my profile. You can you can email me. You can list ask me on TikTok. 
You can ask me at, um, on Instagram, Chef the Moss Kitchen. Make sure you follow me. I got YouTube. I've instructions for different types of meals on YouTube. So make sure you go to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. Um, share. I got a lot of things for you guys. I'm, I got cooking classes for you guys. If you want to come join the cooking classes. Uh, if you want to come cook and learn certain meals that I make. I cook a lot of international seafood. You know, a lot of king crab. Stuff like that. So, it's pretty much definitely a fun time okay guys so y'all ready i'm sorry to keep y'all waiting but i hope y'all ready we're about to plate this all right so we're about to take the pasta okay make sure you spin it okay all right make sure you spin it okay okay because we're gonna put this right in the middle okay put it right in the middle okay can y'all see can y'all see? Let me see if y'all can see this way. Can y'all see this way better? Let me see. Can y'all see this way better? Is that better for you guys? Is that better for you guys? Let's see. Can y'all see it better? Let me see. That's good like that? That's good? Let me see. I'll probably mess it up. Hold on. Let me, let me see. Is that good? Is that better? All right, so we're about to show you how it looks, okay? So, we're gonna take this, put that on top, just like that, okay? Make sure you grab all your chicken and fixings, okay? Chicken and fixings, like that, okay, guys? Chicken and fixings, you might have okay? chicken and fixings just like that and then we're going to take some of our, our garlic okay we are you know what i'm saying paprika put it around okay and then take our garnish okay and put it around okay all right that's your tuscan pasta all right, so now we just gotta try it, okay? Now we just gotta try the Tuscan pasta, okay? Looks good, guys. Uh-huh, look at that. Looking good. So let's, so let's try. We just gotta try it now. All right, let's try it, okay? Let's try the meal. Okay. Well, let's just try it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Hot. But good. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Catch me tomorrow um, at 1 p.m. Doing this live. Doing this live for you guys. Another cooking show, Lunch with Jamal. Make sure you come through and check it out. It's going to be a good time. We're going to have fun. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Hope y'all enjoyed. See y'all next time. Make sure y'all ask all the questions to me in the, in the, in the website and everything. And y'all can find me. You know, most definitely. If y'all want to see me later on or let me know if you want to do like a broadcast to answer questions, let me know. I'll come on and do live. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all next time.